Greetings. This is a question for all of you that love Billy Graham and think he was a great Bible preacher and a true man of God. Now, I got a question for you. Now, my opinion is television, all the networks, all the major channels, back when I was a kid, when Billy Graham was on TV, it was just ABC, CBS, and NBC. And uh, I don't remember what channels he used to show up on, but, you know, the, the world used to fawn all over Billy. But I got a question. For six days, television was violence, sex, witchcraft, and generally filth. And then for a couple of hours on Sunday morning, they had, what, preachers on TV, most of them begging for money. And then after Sunday morning was over, it was, you know, Sunday was back to the uh, regular programming of sex, violence, and tea, uh, witchcraft. And I remember on Sunday nights or Sunday evenings, I remember Walt Disney. And Walt Disney was anything but a Christian. I mean, let's face it. Now, I got a question for you people, and I want you to think about this. If Billy Graham was a true man of God, why would he be on television or I should rephrase that. Why would television that promotes antichrist ideas, violence, witchcraft, and sex, why would they let a true man of God on te television? And the answer is, they wouldn't. Billy Graham was a Freemason. And I tell you what, you ought to take a look in the uh, Mason what the Masons really believe. I'm not talking about the first three degrees. You know, those people are just, you know, they think they're in a social club and, you know, they get together to do good things. You know, the Shriners, I actually have respect for the Shriners because I knew a guy who was going to be crippled for life and they actually, when, as a child, put him in a hospital and uh, fixed him up and he was actually able to do construction work. So... You know, the Shriners, they, they at least try to do some good things, you know, which is what Christians should be doing. But I'm talking about the top-level Masonic Lodge. A lot, most Masonic Lodge members don't know that there's more than three levels. You know, so why would Billy Graham... Well, why would television allow a true man of God on television... Wouldn't a true man of God be blasting the TV for their antichrist programming, their violence, their sex, and witchcraft? Think about it. You know, don't please, don't, don't tell me how great Billy Graham was. I tell you what, I used to listen to some of his early stuff, and I thought, this guy's great. But after listening to his the, the stuff that he did in the 80s and the 90s and onward, uh, no thank. If he's a friend of the Pope, he's no friend of mine. What can I tell you? All right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Get a King James Bible, people, and read it cover to cover. Turn off the television. If you turn off the television for one program a day, that'll give you 30 minutes of un un uninterrupted Bible reading. You'll learn something. You'll learn a lot more about the Lord reading the Bible than you will of 20 years of church. Trust me. In Jesus' precious name, amen.